This chunky crochet hat has been a faithful bestseller for me for the past two years. It's really great for market prep because it only takes about 40 minutes to make and you don't need much yardage, which means more money in your pocket. Stay tuned! For a full list of supplies, see the description box below. For this tutorial, I plan on using Woolies Thick and Quick. This is about 87 yards and is just the right amount for this project. It is a super bulky weight yarn, size 6. Begin by making a slip knot and leaving a very long tail. We're going to use that later. Chain 9. Slip stitch into the first chain to make a ring. You could realistically use a magic ring here if you'd like. Chain 2. This will not count as a stitch. Make 18 double crochet in the ring, crocheting over the top of your long tail as you go along. You will crochet over the top of this tail all the way to the end of this round. Take your beginning tail and pull tightly to cinch it closed. When you get to the end, skip over the chain 2 and slip stitch into the top of the first double crochet you made. Now you will chain 1 and working in the back loops only, we are going to put two half double crochet in the very first stitch. In the next stitch, we are only going to place one front post double crochet around the post of the next stitch. Working in the back loop only of the next stitch, place two half double crochet. Place one front post double crochet around the post of the next stitch. In the back loop only, place two half double crochet in the next stitch. Place one front post double crochet around the post of the next double crochet. Two half double crochet in the back loop only. One front post double crochet. You're going to be continuing this repeating pattern all the way around until you reach the very beginning. You should end on a front post double crochet. Here I am at the end. I've done my last two half double crochet and this is the last stitch of the round. I'm placing a front post double crochet around at the post. This is how it should look. You should have nine front post double crochet. Slip stitch into the back loop only of the first half double crochet. Chain 1. Place 2 half double crochet in the back loop only of the first stitch. 
place one half double crochet in the back loop only of the next stitch. Place a front post double crochet around the front post double crochet below. Place two half double crochet in the back loop only of the next stitch. Place one half double crochet in the back loop only of the next stitch. Place one front post double crochet in the next stitch. Place two half double crochet in the back loop only of the next stitch. Place one half double crochet in the back loop only of the next stitch. Place one front post double crochet around the next stitch. You should see the pattern developing. Continue this pattern all the way around until you reach the last stitch. Here I have my two half double crochet, my one half double crochet, and now I'm going to finish the round by placing a front post double crochet around the next stitch. Join with a slip stitch in the back loop only of the first half double crochet. Now we're going to do a gauge check. My hat measures six inches in diameter at this point or about 15 centimeters. Now we're going to just work with no more increases. Chain one, working in the back loop only, you will place one half double crochet in each half double crochet stitch and one front post double crochet in every post stitch. So you should have three half double crochet consecutively, and then a front post double crochet. All half doubles are worked in the back loop only, and all front post double crochets should be around the front post double crochet in the round below. This will create the spiral look. Just continue in this manner until you reach the end of the round. Here I am at the end of the round. I've done my three half doubles, and I'm going to finish this round with a front post double crochet. I'm going to slip stitch in the back loop only of the first half double crochet. This is what it should look like. It should be extremely stretchy. The reason is, is because we are working in the back loops only, and that creates a lot of give. Your hat should fit a wide range of heads if you are following this pattern. So we are just going to continue the last round all the way down until we reach round 10. After you've completed round 10, we will stop and measure. Here I have my 10 rounds completed, and I'm going to measure to make sure it's the me measurement I want. It's only measuring about 7 inches, which I would prefer to be closer to 8. So I'm going to do one more round, just like I did before, and then we're going to add the brim. So 
So I added the next round and I'm much more happy with it. It's about eight inches in length. So I did a total of 11 rounds. Now you wanna grab your stitch marker because we're gonna be working in the continuous round. Chain one and place a single crochet in the back loop only of the first stitch. We are going to place one single crochet in the back loop only of every stitch in this round. This will give the brim a nice texture. Now you're just going to continue all the way around till you get to the end. Here I am at the end, and instead of slip stitching to join, I'm just going to continue in the round. I'm going to make a single crochet in the back loop only of the first single crochet I made. Place a marker in the top of that single crochet. Continue working in the back loop only. Place one single crochet in every stitch in the back loop only until you reach the stitch marker. We're going to do a total of three rounds. Here I have two rounds completed and I'm going to show you one more time. Do not slip stitch to join. Remove your stitch marker and place a single crochet in the back loop only of the first stitch of the round. Place your stitch marker in the top of the single crochet you just made. Continue making single crochet in the back loop only until you're done with round three. So here I am at the end of round three. I'm going to do an invisible join. Watch carefully and see how I do it. Fasten off and weave in your yarn. As you can see, this hat has so much stretch. Working in the back loop only really makes it fit a large range of heads. My final measurement is nine inches, which is what I'm happy with. Now I'm gonna show you how I add my faux fur pom-poms. I buy these on Amazon, and I will link the link below where I get them. And they come with these little elastic bands on the bottom, which I really like, actually. And I use these buttons that I purchased from Angie and Britt that have care instructions on them. So what I'll do is Take this ribbon and slide it through the elastic rubber band. Fold the ribbon over and place a dab of glue on the ends. You could use hot glue if you want. In fact, I ended up using hot glue later because I was too impatient to wait for this glue to dry. Then you will cut the ribbon. While it's drying, set it aside. Grab your yarn needle and attach it to the end of the tail we began with. Weave it underneath the double crochet of round one. Take a button and sew it to the bottom of the hat. I use this clear monofilament illusion cord, but you could use regular yarn or needle and thread. It doesn't really matter. 
Just make sure it's good and secure. I like this material because it's basically like fishing wire, only thick. You can find it in the beading aisle at Walmart. Once you have it sewn on, make sure that you tie it multiple times to secure. You do not want this coming apart. Make sure that the back seam is in the back of your hat before you add your embellishments. Take a smaller hook and go through the hole in the top of the hat. Grab the ribbon and pull it through to the inside. Wrap the elastic around the button to secure the pom-pom in place. Now the wearer will be able to know that they need to remove it before washing and they can easily do so with this piece of ribbon. You may need to blow dry your pom-pom to make it fluffy. You can find an ad-free printable PDF in my Etsy and Ravelry shops, and it also includes a messy bun version of this hat. Your chunky spiral beanie is complete. I hope that you enjoyed this tutorial today. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, and if you haven't already, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for watching.